Hi guys, this is Agota from Rose Gold and I would like to show you some different ways how to decorate your own roll-on bottles. Are you ready? Let's do this! Today I'm going to show you how to decorate your bottles with dried leaves. Before I start, I just want to let you know you can buy these bottles in my Etsy shop. It comes with gemstone roller ball head. For this project you need some nice dry leaves. In my experience, drying leaves and any other plants in silica gel crystal is the best to keep the color in. But you can also use any other techniques to dry the leaves, like microwaving them or just leave them in a book for a few days. Okay, I'm gonna put the hooks in the bottles. If you don't have any hooks, you can check out my arts and crafts video. I put the link in the description. Okay, let's clean the bottles with alcohol so we can get rid of any dust or grease. I use mud patch to glue the leaves to the bottle. Okay, let's choose a nice leaf. Mm. No. no, not this one. This is better. So, I cut a bit of its stem. And then cover it with mud podge. So, because the dried leaf won't lay on the bottle nicely, we need to fix to the bottle until it dries. I use saran wrap for this. Okay, I put the leaf on the bottle. You see, it won't stick on the bottle. So, Let's rub it and push it down. Okay, it's done. Let's do the next one. This leaf is very thin, so I won't use the Mod Podge, rather a clear adhesive glue. I just cut a bit of it, so it fits on the bottle. a few needles okay get the saran wrap ready and glue the leaf Okay, this is also done. Let's do the next one. I 
Okay, the last one is coming. You can use Mod Podge or adhesive glue for these leaves. With Mod Podge you need to clean the area around the leaves. I'm gonna show you later how to do that. Okay, I let the bottles dry for a day. Now let's see how they look like. Nice! It's laying on the bottle. Now this part of the leaf moved down somehow, but it's still okay. I take off the rub gently. This one is really nice. Okay, all of them look nice. Now I will clean the Mod Podge with acetone using a brush. Maybe you cannot see it well, but there is some excess of Mod Podge on the bottle next to the leaf. As I pushed the serum wrap around the bottle, the Mod Podge under the leaf came out and dried on the bottle. I'm gonna clean that off. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna do the same with the other bottles. To seal the bottle I use epoxy resin. I put a line of resin vertically onto the bottle, then just use my index finger to spread the resin all over the bottle, making a nice even cloud. Okay, so here are the bottles, as you can see this one has a little bump here, so next time I have to cut that off, but I still can use it. So I'm just gonna put a green aventurine and that's it. This one is nice, I'm gonna use it with tiger eye gemstone. It looks perfect. This one is also nice. I'm gonna use red jasper gemstone with that. And the last one is also gonna go with green aventurine. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell. Also check out my Etsy shop, you can find there these bottles and more. Send us a picture if you create one of these, we love seeing your creativity. If you use Instagram, please use the hashtag RoseGoyledDIY and it will show up on our page. Thanks for watching, happy crafting!